guys, welcome back to my channel. It is no secret that I have a large forehead. So I definitely am in the five, possibly five and a half, four and six club. I have a five head. My friends gave it to me all through school about my big forehead. And not only do like I have a big forehead, like I just have a really long face. And if you have a five head or a six head or a seven head or however many foreheads you have, you shouldn't have to feel self-conscious of it. Some of the people that are voted most beautiful in the world have huge foreheads. Tara Banks, Sarah Jessica Parker, Rihanna. Like, so it's not something I'm saying that you should worry about, but let's be realistic. We all have our things we're self-conscious about. Mine has always be my forehead. If you're like me and you do get a bit self-conscious about it, here are some tips that help make your forehead not look as big. First tip I have for you, and I reckon this is probably the most important, is your hairstyle. I went through a little stage in my teen years where I wanted to be like everyone else and have a middle part. But let's just see what happens when I have a middle part, shall we? When you have a middle part, what happens is your line goes straight down the middle. That's where the eye will naturally attract to because you've got your part going down like this. It makes your forehead look big and it makes your face look longer. So I always have my hair parted to the side. So what that creates is that line there comes down there. So it's not in the center where the longest part of my face is. The second thing to do with hair is you want to have volume. So you don't want to have slick straight hair. Hair. and the reason is because that makes the face look longer because it's a straight line down whereas if you've got like a bit of volume in your hair it's bringing it out so try and get as much volume in your roots as you can body of your hair as you can volume is gonna be your best friend the third thing with hair that you can do is have a fringe so I usually have a side fringe and it's like a longer side fringe but it is great at sweeping across your face to hide some of that forehead. It would be very rare that I would ever wear my hair and you know, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that no matter what hairstyle I do, I pretty much have my fringe out. So like, if I have my hair really slicked back, I literally look like an egg. I leave this fringe out and then slick back the rest, it's not as bad, you see? The other couple of tricks I have for you guys, but when you do this, you don't wanna take that down too far. You wanna keep it very much in that center there. The second thing I like to do with makeup is when I apply anything on my cheeks, I don't like to put anything on the actual apples of my cheeks. So if I'm doing blush, I don't put it in here. And the reason is because I like everything to sort of open up. So when I take my blush, I start at about here. And I just keep it on the outers. I never, ever do the apples of my cheeks because, again, that's in the center of your face where the longest part is. You don't want to attract too much attention to these parts. You can also use highlighter by putting highlighter here. So what that's going to do is naturally capture the light, which draws the eye to that area instead of the forehead. So don't highlight your forehead. You want to highlight this area. The other trick I have with makeup is your eyebrows. So if you do your eyebrows quite thick and you don't want to look like you've got caterpillars on your eyes, I'm not promoting that, but you can draw just above the top of your eyebrow and fill it in. Don't make it look obvious. Come on guys. Like you overline your lip, you can overline your eyebrow just a smidge and what that will do is lift your eyebrow up a tiny bit to make that look shorter. But with your eyebrows too, by having them filled in and full, I usually have mine tinted, but since we're in ISO, gotta work with what I've got right now. But that again, draws the attention from your forehead down to your eyes and eyebrows. I like to focus the attention on my eyes, then that's the first thing people are looking at instead of my forehead. If you wanna focus the attention to here, you can do that. Some people suggest to do is to do a bright lip. The other thing you can do, so if you decide you do want your hair pulled back, so I'm gonna chuck it up in a high pony, give me one moment. But if you are going to wear your hair up, you're better off doing like a high pony so that you have some volume up here. The trick I wanna show you is sometimes when we throw our hair back and if you're blonde or you've got some baby hairs around your face, they don't show up much color. So for me, my baby hairs are like white, so you can't, you can't really see them. And they make specific products to do this, but being blonde, it is a little bit harder to get that. So I'm just taking like a neutral eyeshadow and you can just color in those areas and this 
color's not really matching right now because I need to get my hair done, but that could be a while now. So you sort of get the gist of that. And again, it does work a lot better on dark hair. The last little hack I have for you is accessorize. So again, this is drawing the attention away from your forehead. You want other people's eyes to naturally be drawn to another part of your face. So by putting in some big earrings, draws the attention from here down to here. I tend to stay a bit clear of really long dangling ones, again, because it causes that really long look. So I prefer something with a bit of, you know, body like hoops. I love myself a hoop. It creates a bit more width. So those are some of my big forehead hacks for you today. Again, if you want to rock that big forehead, you do you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Anyway, guys, if you do like this video, chuck me a like, chuck me a subscribe because it does really help support my channel and I'll see you next time.